What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today with more Railroads Online, and we are joined once again by Dapper. Hello, sir. How hello, are you? Hello, hello. I'm good, how are you? I'm great. Do you look like I my see... engine? Yeah, you got a new train? Yeah, dude, this what? is the Heisler. I was calling it the Hessler wrong, but that or last episode, <laughs> that's wrong. It's the Heisler. Right, right. It's I mean, the, the biggest edge of the game. I called it the Last Hope because, honestly... I, you know, we, I had so many troubles getting up here to the iron mine with this full train of cars. And, uh, right. I figured, you know, if the biggest engine in the game isn't going to do it, then that was it, right? That was then the nothing last. nothing will. <laughs> not, right, exactly. So I made it. Obviously, we're here. It's wonderful. Yeah. Um, nice. So I'm going to, we're going to go back to the freight depot. We got an extra thing of logs there. I'm not unloading it because I'm keeping these even at zero and zero. I don't want an uneven number of planks. And you'll notice oh. we've got 42 iron in the iron ore mine here 42 out of 290 so okay wow that is a lot actually. right so this is actually the first time i'm doing a continuation episode most episodes i do kind of like some train running or grinding or whatever in between episodes this time is actually like a direct continuation after the previous episode and we're gonna go right back to the freight depot unload these cars we're gonna drop off that wood probably just sell it to the freight depot or whatever and then we're gonna hook up the iron cars come back up here fill up with iron and then bring it back to the smelter Wow, okay. That's Perfect. the job for today. Do you want to drive? Have you driven one of these before? I have not. Okay, well, it's pretty simple. Hop in and drive. Um, you can't bring the regulator above... Six. You know what? Just bring bring the regulator up to 100 and see what happens. Okay. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Yeah. And then take the brake off. Yeah, so... Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, the brake's on. So I don't know how that's... Wait, the brake's on? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I, I noticed that in the last video. I thought it was some crazy torque thing. Apparently, it's just a glitch with the physics engine. Uh, the devs apparently know about it, and they're going to work on fixing it. So you can't bring the regulator above 60%. 60% is like your max. Keep it below 60. Honestly, things got torqued for days. If you go above 60, that happens. And yeah, yeah and you can't get rid of that until you go back to zero. Yeah. Um, okay. It's a pretty, pretty simple stuff. I'm going to stand at the very back of the train. And just kind of direct Perfect. you and let you know that if you know if we're going too fast or whatever, make sure switch. We should be good with the switches. So just uh, put it in reverse slowly and, you know, let's slowly get going all the way back. Now, we are going to go downhill. So, you know, don't don't kill it. Pretty much after this second bridge here, we're going to start going downhill. So at that point, you <laughs> could probably just cut the red. Ah, actually, it's not even that much downhill. It's like after that ridge around the corner there. You see that corner I'm talking about? Like the... Not this yeah. corner, the next one, like the the around the mountain bed. Oh yeah, okay. That, that's where it's gonna start to become like gnarly. This is nice. I don't even hear the I engine. The What's uh, it's actually off? Wait, your engine's <laughs> off? Yeah, regular zero. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that works. Yeah, this is nice. I don't even hear the engine noise. Just get to watch the tracks <laughs> go by. You know. Get to just to hang out. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Now, this is actually really cool. I, I'm digging this train a lot. It looks. But the the awesome. Heisler, yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. I want to get the climax too. The climax is the smaller gear train, and the Heisler did this like no problem. Twelve cars, so I feel like the climax could probably do it no problem as well. Mm -hmm. Which would then be like super exciting to have a smaller gear train, have multiple gear trains. Right. I mean, eventually I'm gonna get one of each engine because you know you want to be able to like flat up well, test right. them against each other and all that. So. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we're on the downhill now, in case you didn't notice. It's pretty... Yeah, I, I see that. Gain a little speed here. It'll smooth out, though. It'll flatten out here for a sec. I think the key is to just not... Oh, God, we're going faster and faster. The key is just to not push, right? Because if you push too much, then we're... Then we're going right. to be derailing. Oh, uh, kind of want to slow it down a little bit. No, there we're we doing... We're, we're doing okay. It's a little sketchy for a second. Yeah, there, but... it seems a little bit more like a roller coaster, less like a train. Yeah. Yeah, I've lost a couple grand off this cliff before. <laughs> and, uh, I don't doubt it. <laughs> I don't have a couple grand to spare if we lose it again, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I yeah. feel that. Luckily, we got saves, so we'll just we'll reload from, from back there, but, like, you know. Right. Yeah. That's, uh, better, better not to do that. <laughs> yeah. I'm honestly, I would love to double track this too. It's got enough space to. Oh, is there really? Like, you think it's going I mean, all the way through? Ideally, I want to track on a different side of the valley, but like, you could double track. You might want to slow down. We're into some. 
Oh yeah. my oh god, my it's gosh. so What's sketchy looking. Oh, what is this? And this is my uh, S bed. You've been here, I think, haven't you? This is a snake. Yeah, I, I it was inefficient, apparently. Mm. I wanted to follow the contours of the mountain, but everyone was like, oh, it's too much friction. But I mean, the Heisler did it, no problem, so I don't really care. Can I log right. that? It's true. Dude, I got that tree. Well, what? no, I didn't. All the way over there? <gasps> what? So, <laughs> what just happened? Bro, what? What is this? <laughs> what? what? No, come here. Come here. I went I'm to coming. log. I went to log this tree. We're going to have to reload. Okay. I went to log this tree here as we were driving by. I hit the, I hit the log button on this tree. Okay. Yeah. This tree did not disappear. Nothing happened. A tree down there disappeared. And then this tree that. appeared in the middle of the track. Wait, what? Look, there's a tree in the... Look at this. Look at this. What? what? How do it... What? What? Did it just appear like when you did it too? Yeah, it literally just appeared. What? How? Well. Cool. Right, so about that reloading thing. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, we'll be back. All right, dude, we're back. We're about to hit the S section. Mm -hmm. Get ready on that brake. I'm going to yell it if there's a tree in the middle of the track. I think right, there is. Good. I legitimately, I'm looking up ahead, and I legitimately think there's a tree in the middle of the track yeah, for some reason. I see it. Do you I see, see it? I see it up there. Yeah. So it, I was, it didn't just spawn. It was legit. Why is there a tree in the track? It just grew there. <laughs> this track hasn't been run in three days. That's the problem. You know, all those big trees, they pop up every three... It, <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. They're like weeds. You gotta, you gotta. Get yeah, you gotta get quick. them with the. There's a legitimately. There actually is a tree in the middle of the track. Well, I'm breaking here, so. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of this tree. There it goes. Yeah. No, oh, this is legitimately. This is a real tree. From. Wow. From the save file. Okay. Very interesting. Okay, you just, you know, you just keep coming. I'm just gonna keep walking down the track for a bit because I think I see another one up there as well. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if they, right. like, updated something and that, like, respawned the trees? I don't Maybe. really understand that. This, yeah, there's legitimately another tree here as well. Okay. Alright, so I guess we gotta look out for that. Yeah, apparently there's gonna be potentially some trees on the track. Okay, got, got both of those. That's the only time I've ever had this happen. I've been playing this game a lot on this same save file, and I've never seen trees respawn like that. Yeah, that's interesting. That's a new one for me, too. Yeah, that's a new new hazards to look out for on the old mountain railroad. <laughs> <laughs> as if it wasn't treacherous. Yeah, <laughs> as if it wasn't already a problem. You got the yeet track. You got the trees regrowing overnight. No, it's a deadly place, you know? This is why train engineers get paid a lot of money out here, just to deal yeah. with all these, these hazards. Absolutely. I hope there's no trees inside my bridge. That would suck. Oh, yeah, like the very tips of them coming through the track. Right, like... where you can't, like, delete the... You have to delete the bridge foundation to get the tree out, you know? Oh, that's annoying, yep. I don't know. Hopefully there isn't. We'll find out. All right, this is looking... Ooh, that track is a little bit squirrely. I need to fix that at some point. It's not perfectly yep. straight. <laughs> it has this little, like, jank back and forth. I was not a fan, you know? Right. Well, All right, so there's more downhill? Coming yeah, up, yeah, this or... is, we still, we loop around here and then come back down around. You'll see, it's pretty cool. Okay. It's kind of like a flat plateau section. I try to make my track, like, follow the contours of the train as much as possible, even though yeah. it's sometimes super inconvenient to follow the, like, you have to go, you know, around hills and stuff. Of course, and not always the most efficient in yeah, gradients. Like, and... The best way to play this game is just draw straight lines with bridges from point A to point B, right? Like, let's be real. Constant grade, right. straight line, you know, A to B done. But it doesn't necessarily look the nicest. So what's next for your world? What do you, what do you, uh... Well, after this? Well, yeah. I gotta, we gotta start, I gotta start making some iron money. Like, that's the first thing. This is like, you right. know, we finally got the iron mine supplied. So what we're doing now is going to supply the smelter, which is good. Then we gotta start making some smelter money. And then I think, True. you know, I either want to expand to another industry or possibly loop my iron mine around so we don't have to keep going backwards like we're doing now, which seems really, really sketchy. Oh my God, we are going so fast, bro. Too fast? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Okay, now we're good. No, it seems it seemed a little shaky, you know. All the cars are kind of jittering. 
True, true. Yeah. But yeah, I, I either I gotta either make an iron loop because I gotta loop the iron around so we don't have to keep doing this, you know? Because coming back down this path in reverse kind of sucks. So I want to keep going forward, right? And right. then now you're gonna need a reg. We gotta go uphill. Um, yep. But yeah, I, I'd like to do this forward. And then you know, obviously, I gotta expand to other industries. We're only at the smelter. There's still like the ironworks, the coal mine. You know, I don't even know what's next. I think it's the ironworks, right? You bring the iron to the ironworks, and then get yes. coal to the ironworks as well. I so believe so. Gotta expand to all those. You know what I mean? So that'll be another big job. So basically, the iron loop. Is yeah, all. for sure. I mean, the you know. I've got to start making like for the longest time now this entire time you got to give more reg than that but yeah for yeah. the entire time i've just been doing nothing but you know making wood money and wood money is cheap need to make more of that rich iron money is it just me or does it feel like trees are cut back really far um i think the devs updated something i'm not sure but, like, I don't remember cutting trees back this far along my track. I'll be able to go check old videos and see. Huh. But I, I wonder if they, I like, know. did something that automatically cut back trees, you know, on either side of your rails. Maybe. Yeah, they, they maybe definitely... Maybe that's they, what had the couple randoms that spawned? I think, I, I think they definitely, like, maybe they made some update with something. I don't know. And, and, like, they had to maybe redo the tree spawning. And they were like, well, shoot, what about all the people who have rails? And maybe they wrote something in that, you know, cuts the trees back automatically. I don't know. I have no this is clue. definitely more cut back than what I did, though. Because this valley wasn't fully open like this. There were definitely trees down here. Okay, this is this is weird. This is strange. Right? <laughs> this feels like it's super open now. I mean, I'm not Maybe. mad. They just did a lot of work for me that I would have needed to do myself. But I don't I don't remember doing this, so I have a feeling it must be a dev thing. Or. Maybe someone just randomly joined up and decided to be Paul Bunyan. And... Yeah, someone logged onto my computer while it was off. Yeah. Uh huh. Opened my railroads online. Remote desktop yeah. did. Cut yes. down a bunch of trees. Mm -hmm. Left me with seven hundred seventy-four dollars. Yes. And uh, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Yo, look up here, up here. Look, trees oh. back on the train tracks. Oh, do I gotta? Do yeah, I gotta just break, slow up a little good? bit. Just slow up a little bit. I'll be able to cut this one down before you get there. Just a single tree back on the train tracks. But the like, look. Then these this little section of trees here isn't completely cut back from the tracks until I do it myself. Yo, someone in the comments down below is gonna know the answer. Someone, you know, someone's gonna know what happened here. Yeah, this is, uh, this is just weird. Yeah, because look at how cut back this bridge is, too. Yeah, it's really open. Yeah. Huh. You no, know, this is, this is 100% they cut back the trees, because look at the bridge I have coming into the logging camp. Never was that open. True. And I remember that 100% for a fact. That was always, like, we can see all the way from here to the Y that goes off to the logging camp. And I, that's like, never really had cool. that visible. But then there's that one random tree that's just, like... Yeah, the one on the, the left there? Yeah. Yeah. I don't get it. It's crazy, though. Yeah, there was a tree. There was a tree right here. Right in between this Y section of track, there was a single tree there. It's gone now. You know, what really happened, actually, and what Khan's not telling you, is that he woke up oh, in his Oh, hold sleep. on. I'm looking through the change log. Fixed oh. tree removal bug. There was a server and client trees will stay in sync even when all trees on the map are removed. When loading an old save, there might be some new trees on the rails slash grades. So there was a tree bug. About. I mean, there's still tree bugs. <laughs> yeah, but apparently there was a tree bug that I guess they fixed, and as a result, they probably had to automatically go back and remove trees for you. Hmm. And, you know, as a result, we had some tree... Like, we've got much wider clearings now around the tracks. Uh, why are we going that way? Um, you know, I thought things happened. Did Boiler you forget to put things. firewood in, or...? Yeah, something like that. Really? Well, I was gonna say you might have woke up in your sleep and, like, sleepwalked uh, and cut away trees. I mean, that would be nice, yeah. but... Right. Wow, yeah, this guy. Interesting. Make sure you don't tell Cosmo. <laughs> well, we got it. So he goes through the same thing. So he goes through did. the same thing of derailing his train on a tree that wasn't supposed to be on his track. 
<laughs> I don't know when. I don't know if it'll happen. You know, it was those two trees for me that could have derailed us, so, or three, I guess. But like, you know, we'll see if he has any, right? But right. don't tell him. Gotta to just let him drive a train and then be like, oh no. And see if he notices the, yeah. how clear well, his tracks are. Why is there a tree here, you know? He'll probably notice how clear it is. It's very obvious how, like, wide they've cut it back now. Yeah. But... I mean, it, feel, it felt weird, because everything felt so open. And, you know, like... Like, clean. True. Alright, we're just gonna keep going backwards. Um, pretty much all the way through the station. Um... Cause we gotta hold on what do we gotta do here we gotta unload this nonsense yeah okay we're gonna unload that for firewood you need me to slow down or are you good no, i'll flick some switches for you you're gonna have to stop when that plank car is lined up with the firewood depot all right well you should be coming back on the line towards it and then Perfect. we're gonna pull you into one of the big shunt lines because that's where you can park that train because it's 12 cars long okay and then we will uh pick up the coal cars you need. Oh, I'm going to have to move Betsy here. Betsy's in the way. Uh-oh. Do I need to slow down? I can't. No, no, no. no you're good. You're are... good. You're good. All right. Just making sure because the render distance is a little short on my end. No, you're going down. At... I mean, Betsy's in the shunt line. I want to park you in. That's all. Gotcha. Yeah. It's not a big deal. But we'll, we'll, we'll get her out of the way. Put some fire in her. Fire her up. All right. You can just keep backing up. Eventually, you'll see that your plank car should be on the firewood depot side excellent choo choo oh wait no i have a whistle <laughs> this is why we need to have like 20 trades all just doing stuff at the same time you know it'd be great it'd be amazing all right we got betsy here put her onto that line for now i really should park betsy i've actually retired betsy now i'm not using betsy anymore i've decided um, you know, the Hessler, or the Heisler, it does everything I need Betsy to do, you know what I mean? So, like, True. what's the what's the point, right? I don't want to keep using Betsy. I need to put Betsy on the turntable with the other engines. Right. All right, so, so you want to come into this second lane here. This See the second lane? Yeah. All so right. back up past those two switches, and then you can flick the switches to get to where you want. Betsy's good there. I'm gonna just flip this second lane switch for you. I feel like I see the wheel slipping here and there, which is kind of cool. I mean, you still will get wheel slip. Just past 60% is just a game glitch, so that's like... Right. Looks pretty good, though. Alright, so when you get to the end of the lane, you're just gonna slam on the brake. You have more than enough space in here to store more than 12 cars. It's kind of ridiculous. I'll get the switch behind you. Alright. And then we're gonna... Once you've braked, I'll break all the cars. I'll let you know when you can, uh... Alright, you can put on the brakes anytime. You're clear. Click this switch back. Dude, this is a process. Like, shunting yeah, trains know. is such a process. I love it, but it's such a process. Alright, yeah, we gotta brake all these cars. Alright. I like to park them all braked just in case. You know, it's one of those... Kind of like a safety thing, I guess. Just, you know, you never want a car rolling off. It's flat ground, but you never know, right? Like, who cares? It doesn't take that long. And that way you can just be guaranteed that your cars aren't going anywhere in case, like, one disconnects or whatever. Right. All right, you're good there? Yeah. All right, on Hitcher, bring her forward. And I'll get you onto the main line. And then we got to back up through all this stuff to go pick up the uh, coal cars, the iron cars. Perfect. Okay. You're good to go out. Everything should yep. be clean. Here we go. And once you're past me, then you can go back in reverse. And I'll flick this switch. We'll go back the way we came, pick up the cars in reverse, and then get the heck out of here. And go all the way back the way we came. Your, uh, your place here is uh, looking pretty nice. Thanks, man. I like it. I love the parallel shunt lines. Like, I still build them with all those crossover pieces and switches, you know, so it's all linked together and perfectly straight. Mm -hmm. And I I know it takes a lot longer to do it that way, but it just looks so good when you have all these perfectly parallel lines with all the train cars parked and stuff. You know, it's just it's such a wonderful, yeah, wonderful thing. 
It's a time-consuming process, but it's definitely rewarding in my mind to have these perfectly straight shunt lines that are just perfectly aligned with all the switches and... You know, now I've got 10 shunt lanes. There's five lanes over there that are like a parallelogram, and they store 10 cars each total. And then these lanes are like, you know, different sizes because it like bows out and comes back in. Mm -hmm. So I think the smallest lane would probably only hold like maybe six cars max, probably like between four and six. And then the biggest lane holds like, I think 16, and we have 12 in it or something. Okay. Really, I just needed a place to store the 12 car long train. And then eventually Pretty what awesome. I want to do is get another 12 car long train like that so we can have multiple people running planks to and from the iron mine on a regular basis. You know what I mean? Like, to fill that iron mine up. That would be awesome. But you need multiple sets of cars. That's, I, anyway, that's why I needed shunt space. I'm going to build way more shunt space at some point too because obviously this still isn't going to be enough, but that'll be job for another day. I have to figure it out. Through... Ideally, I'm trying to turn the freight depot into like a hub where everyone who can get on the server like comes to the hub Picks up the train they want to run for the day and then goes out and does it, you know Right, are our switches set up here? Uh, the last one? No, let me get that. The last one needs to go left. That's right I Need to get this one flicked over. There we go. You have a- I'm gonna put a hitch on you Hitch and pin Perfect. And then uh, we'll fill these guys up. This is going to be sick, man. 40 uh, iron ore. It should be good, right? Heisler will take that, I think. Yeah. I have Keep no coming. Doubt. Keep coming. And you're good. All right. Let me remove the brakes. Not all these things. Brakes. Brakes. All right. You're good. Gear. Yeah. Cool. Pull forward. I'm gonna set this switch right now, and then I'll jump on the back, just because if I don't set it now, we're definitely gonna forget. Yes, that sounds And then good. come back in and get completely derailed, you know what I mean? Right. Alright, this is Blast. sick. Now we can both chill up here. This is like a nice big... big train. It's a smooth ride, too. A cockpit. <laughs> the thing with gear trains, right, is they're not very fast. But they are very <laughs> torquey. Yeah, they can pull. Right, so... This is about as far as we can go. This is the speed we get. Man, this train looks cool, though. Yeah, it does. Alright, dude, we've switched drivers. Yep. Um, we're starting to get low on the old fuel. I mean, we've got tons of fire temp. We want to throw some fuel in anyway. I'm going to cut the reg to zero. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, just throw in some fuel. We might as well just keep the fuel up. I mean, I'm not worried. we got lots of firewood back at base. Now, now we're gonna go to back. Open the thing? What? Not to open the thing? I mean, I didn't, and it worked. I don't know if it's. Did you Did throw any work? in at all? Yeah, just now. Eh, it didn't work. No. At least I don't think it did. Whatever, just leave it. It'll be fine. We got ten fuel left. Have it now. Nope. Well. I think I think we're going too fast, and you're throwing the firewood, and it's like flying out the well, back of the train or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, I tried to like go forward and get like inside the furnace oh see that no Other i cars. swear to god the train was like look like it looked like it was just about to tip off that corner i'm at 20 percent break right now but wow yeah it looked like it wanted to tip it was not good all righty it's a pretty cool line i like it yeah, I, it, this was the hardest part. Getting down from where we are to here is very difficult because of just uh, how high up everything is compared to the smelter. Right. Like, the smelter's way down in a valley. Like, way below the freight depot even, you know? True. Getting all the way down there is really just a pain in the butt. Alrighty. Nice 20% rag, probably. 30. Eh, 44%. Hold on, we're gonna need to put fire in here, or else this is gonna be a real problem. I'm gonna get out. Throw fire in. 52% reg. And this is like a 4% wow. hill. Oh, is it really? Yeah. It might not have done this with 12 cars, but with 4, I mean, it just, you know, and if they were full, maybe not, but... Right. 
All right, I'm just not gonna touch the reg now. It's at 52%. We're just gonna leave it 50%, 100, and just, you know, enjoy the ride. Awesome. I might even, you know what? I might even get a really cool, I've never done this before. I'm gonna like zoom, oh, that's too much. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit. And I'm gonna even time lapse this camera all the way up to the iron mine. Cause maybe, you know, a nice little time lapse, maybe some nice like chill country music, you know, get that, get that train vibe going, you know what I mean? True. Oh, the camera doesn't rotate. Oh, that sucks. Um, it does if you're not in it. That's true. You, you, you having troubles? You got it? No, we're moving 52% reg, dude. We got it. Okay, cool. We're starting on like a 6% hill. Now I can do that sweet epic time lapse I was talking about. <laughs> Let's get to it. All right, bro, we made it. We made it, bro. We made it. Look at this. That only took a while. Yeah, just a little bit. It was good, though. I like this trip. It's it's a lot fun now that, uh, or a lot more fun. Wow, English is hard today. It's a lot more <laughs> fun when you've got an engine that you just kind of set and forget, you know? You just set the speed and just let it run. That's true. I'm going to manually drive it now, just in case. And even if you could do something like that with Betsy, uh, she runs out of water and yeah, exactly. This thing's fire got fire so fast. Although we are almost out of fire, we do need to shovel in some stuff here. All right. Now it's very important we don't waste any iron because I only have 42. Yes. And we need to fill up all four of these cars. Which makes? Are you gonna two shoot it? No, I'm gonna try. I don't know. I think I think one, right? Like, should I? Yeah, I feel like I feel like the shoots need to be further apart. Two shoots. Okay, so I'm gonna go okay. one. Oh, I see. Okay, so Two I can ten, just I can just wait until ten. this gets to 32 and then flick it back up. Yeah. Okay, I thought it was gonna be faster flowing than this. It's kind of nice that it's not. Really gives you a chance to actually adjust for it. 36. 35. Oh my god, I'm scared. Have you delivered iron yet? To your thing? I have. How'd it go? It went. It went. It went. <laughs> Alright. 32, right? No, up. Yeah. Up. Up. Oh, well, we're at 10 of 10 in the car. That's good. All right. Bring her forward, sir. No. 
Dude, those things do not go up as fast as I thought they were going to. This is the most expensive load we've ever done on this server, I think. So, let's be real careful with it. It took a lot of work to get this 40 iron, okay? True. So just, you know, that's my, that's my pep talk. Perfect. Alright, let's go. Full reverse. Right. Back down. When we get to the very bottom of, like, the hill section, we're gonna have to, uh... We're gonna have to stop, because I'm gonna have to flip the switches to go down to the smelter section. Okay. And probably have to check that track for rogue trees as well. Hmm. Unchecked track. That's yes. scary. Yes, with a very valuable load. How heavy is the iron, do you know? Is it, like... I do not. All right, well, we are going downhill, so it should be fine. Just make sure you're you're good on the brakes, you know? You got brake pressure? You got fire temp? Uh... Is no fuel. All... You got fuel? Negative. This game is really pretty, though. Yes, it is. Really nice. I heard they uh, moved the walls back on the edges of the map. Okay. So that valley in the north might be usable now, which would be an interesting route. You mean they made, like, the map bigger? I guess. I don't know. May I don't know if I read it wrong, or... I mean, I don't. I can't tell, to be honest. They did I don't... something with invisible walls. Maybe there's, like, a hitbox. I've never been to the edge of the map, though, to be honest. I'm starting to feel sketch here. We're good. We're good. We're going. Mm. I wonder how mountain train guys actually feel. You know what I mean? Is this scary? Like, I feel like it's the sketchiest job ever, you know? Like... Well, especially in the winter. Yeah, you're driving these massive, super heavy trains with just a ton of momentum up steep, like, cliffs and, you know, on the edge of, like, death all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't, you know, I wouldn't... This looks cool in a video game, but I don't know how comfortable I'd be doing this in real oh. life. Here's a question. What would you prefer? Ice road trucker or ice road... or ice rail train driver i feel like trains would be safer ice road truck okay so i'm like i i have a huge fear of driving a car across a frozen lake i'm not i'm not okay with that mm -hmm. you know and i feel like you don't have to do that with trains at least rails are cemented into the ground true whereas like you know well not cemented but you know they're attached to the ground right whereas an ice road yeah. truck is just like you know death all the time so you'd pick trains i think so well, would you pick okay. trucks? Uh, I might go with trucks. Be, you be Maybe. an ice road trucker rather than an ice road ice train guy. I think so. All right, we're down off that hill again. Mhm. Mm and uh, I'm actually gonna jump off here. Uh, what? Yeah, cause I gotta flip some switches down there to head us down to the smelter. So you just keep going, cause you're gonna go back down this flat section, and then you're gonna go down that other section of hill, right? You know what I mean? Okay. And uh, I'm just going to jump and go down the hill here straight to the Y, and then I'll be able to flick the switches and I'll jump back on when you come down. Just, just you know, watch yourself. It's like 4%, 5%. Right, okay. But, you know, I'm already down here. It's crazy. Like, you're up here, right? You see me on the on your right in the trees there? You're up on oh, that I... height, and you need to get down to this height down here. And in order to do that, you have to go around that huge detour. It's crazy. I love it. It'd be so much easier to just... Originally, when I built this, I tried to curve it right to get it back up, but it, it couldn't go up high enough, so I did this huge, like, runabout way. Ah, uh, okay, that makes sense. All right, coming down the hill now. Nice, nice. I'm waiting for you. You're just... See if I can see you coming. Oh, yeah, oh, I see you. Hey, what's up? Hey. Hey, nice, nice, uh, nice train you got there. Yeah, thanks. Hey, can't get up. Can't get back on the track. Uh, some guy I know. Okay, bye. I can't. I can't get back up the track. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I can't get on the train. Hold on. There we go. All right. We're good. Jeez. Perfect. <laughs> it's so weird when he runs through the cars. He like walks right like in between the crag and like right back up. Anyway. Oh yeah. All right, we're good. This is uh all the way down to the smelter. I love this bridge over the super shallow river. It's nice. <laughs> yes, that is very shallow river <laughs> and this y brings us down to the smelter perfect beautiful track i love this track by the way this this smelter section is really nice yeah it looks good 
It just follows this little hill right on the edge, and it never really goes too high up. Feels really natural. Uh, watch out for trees. Yeah, I am on the tree lookout. Mm -hmm. Looking, mm -hmm. looking straight ahead here. Do we need a break on this? Uh, it's three percent. You might need to a little bit. Seems like it's pretty. It's pretty gradual though the turns. I don't see any trees. I think we're good. There's a little S coming up. I see that. But it's because it follows the contour of the terrain. If you go straight, you end up running into a hill. I see that. Yeah. I'm so, like, it's ridiculous how long it takes me to lay track, dude. I'm so paranoid <laughs> about making sure it's, like, absolutely perfect, and, like, the curves oh. are perfectly smooth, and the ramps are, like, as smooth as possible. I just, it's it's a problem. Oh, I know. Yeah. We, we started this world together. <laughs> yeah, and, and, uh, our first track took, like, seven hours to lay. I've gotten faster than yeah. that, but it's still, it's still pretty bad. I can imagine. Yeah. All right, we're gonna, we're, we'll be fine. We're just gonna go keep all the way around the loop, basically. Which is good, because I actually wanted to check what this thing made. I don't actually know what the smelter produces. Uh, you've never ran around back? Why? Well, I, I mean, I did, but I don't remember. I can't remember what it was. It's like rail beams and... Oh, yeah, it looks like uh, rail. Rails? Yeah, I forget. Okay, rails, zero of a hundred rails. And raw iron. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Then I guess the iron smelt the iron works takes the raw iron and turns it into stuff i assume so yeah yeah well we're here yay i'll go to the unload so cool man this game yeah, is this so is awesome. good like it's so much fun and it's like it takes so long to get stuff set up but it's so rewarding when you can run a train all the way down and just it's just amazing i just i love it so much i don't know why it's so rewarding but it is you know it just feels good well, all the hours it takes to do it right like just to get to this point this can store a thousand iron ore bro what <laughs> we can yeah, run smelter trains that. for days seriously this is 40. Like this is forty iron. We could we could literally run smelter trains for day. Like we need to start doing hundred car iron trains. Like or ten car iron trains for hundred iron. All right, do I just I just unload right? Yeah. Oh, it literally comes out as little balls. That's interesting. Yep. <laughs> okay. Don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it only really? nine? very much resembles something um i guess it didn't accept one of them what what yeah. oh it's using it herp derp i'm an idiot never mind keep ah. going back up oh yeah i forgot you actually have cordwood yeah i have here. cordwood here already yeah i delivered cordwood a long long time ago all right i was like why is it yeah okay Whew. i felt really that uh, was sucked all right uh yep yeah. nope good yep yeah. uh can i Thank you. Nice little balls. <laughs> Dude, can you imagine yeah. how long it would take to fill the iron mine to a thousand? So if we had ten car iron trains, right? That's a hundred mm -hmm. iron ore. Okay, yeah, I think you're good. Yeah. That's a hundred iron ore. So we need ten trains of ten cars of iron, right? But then that also means you need a hundred planks and a hundred beams to make that stop. You need a hundred planks and a hundred beams to make each hundred. So you need a thousand planks and a thousand beams, which means you need a thousand logs. Wow. So that's a thousand logs to the sawmill while you run a thousand beams and planks to the iron mine to run a thousand iron to here plus all the cordwood you need. Like, yeah, that's just bonkers, man. How, how long insane. that would <laughs> we need like 20 people running like 10 car trains all the time for days on end to do this and fill this thing out oh that's great we got iron now that's perfect and then it's gonna produce so that's uh made 700 bucks off four cars of iron it's pretty okay. good not bad good good ratio i definitely need more i want to see it it's got stuff over here now i wonder does it pay a lot to bring like these finished products to like the freight depot it must, right? Like, these must be worth something. I feel like I had, like, 12 a pop. Oh, like, 13 rails already? 
and 13 raw iron. Okay, so it's even numbers of those. Is it two to one? Because that would be sick. Or is it, it's probably one to one. I'd imagine it's one to one, right? Uh, probably. Probably. This raw iron pile is... All right, what do we got? 25? Yeah, so it's like one to one because this will be, yeah, 1540. All right, well, that was exciting. Wow. Yeah, that I'm going to leave the train here. Probably start the next episode up right away from this spot and uh, pick up some of those beams and stuff and sell them to the freight depot and see how much money we make. Ooh, that'd be cool. I think that'll be the next the next uh, thing to do. And then uh, I got to expand the iron mine more because apparently I need to make this track big enough to run like a bunch of trains with a bunch of people. Like, yeah, no kidding. Need to have people running like Betsy doing logging things. I've got a mogul, so I could use the mogul to do some logging stuff because it can do log routes because that's not that steep, you know? Right. So we can have people doing logs while other people are doing lumber to the iron mine, but definitely need the iron mine to be looped up so, you know, more people can run trains. But yeah, let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.